Okay, so once again, what I have in front of you there is an expansion problem, yes? And if you expand that the long way, what will you get? x squared minus 4x plus 4x minus 16, yes? And what's going to happen to those middle terms? They're going to drop out, and I'm going to get x squared minus 16. Now, all of you already should see what has happened here. It's exactly like the last things we factored, yes? x squared, x, and x. What is the relation between x squared, x, and x? x is the square root of x squared, isn't it? Okay. What is the relationship 16, 4, and 4? 4 is the square root of 16, yes? So therefore, that should tell you that if these two are perfect squares and that is subtraction, these become pretty easy to factor, don't they? Because it's exactly the same as x squared minus 0x minus 16, which you already know how to factor, yes? I needed numbers that multiplied to 16 and added to 0. Well, here is yet another way to do this. If you have a square and a square, then when you factor it, what goes in the first spot? The square root of that guy, right? And what goes in the second spot? The square root of that guy. And since that's a minus, it must be plus and minus. Everybody with me? So if your polynomial looks like this, if it is any number that is squared minus any other number that is squared, as long as it's a minus, then when, this is the polynomial. Then its factors are always the square root of A plus the square root of B. And then the exact same thing with a minus. Always. This is the reason why, and normally I would take a a whole period to develop this for you. But it's summer, so I showed you a couple of times. Then I showed you what happens when you expand this, and now I'm giving you a shortcut. Okay? So let's look at this very first one. Some of you are going to answer this wrong, so think before you answer it. Is that a perfect square? Yeah. It is. Why? No. Not quite. It has to do with the 16. 16 is an even number. So that means if you have an even exponent, you always have a square root. Why? Because 2 goes into it. And a square root, I need groups of 2, don't I? So that, what is the square root of x to the 16th? No. See, I knew you were all going to do that. Think. Yes, it is x to the 8th, because this, I need the square root of x to the 16th, yes? Which means I'm looking for groups how big? <laughs> groups, groups of 2. So how many can I get out of there? I can get x to the 8th out of there, right? Just like the test you just wrote. So, square root of the first one is x to the 8th. Square root of the first one is x to the 8th. Then, plus the square root of the first one. What's the square root of 1? 1. Minus 1. Now, the question becomes, am I done? Why? Because I'm not done. Why aren't I done? Nope. Nope. 
Oh, well, we gotta write the one. Oh, we have to check our answer. Okay, if you check your answer, you're gonna get x to the eighth times x to the eighth, x to the sixteenth, one times one, one. Okay, we're good, but I'm still not done. Both the x's are eights. Both the x's have an exponent of eight. Oh, you can keep going. Why? Right. So can I keep going with the blue one or with the green one? Look again. You've been talking to Amrit? Harmi? I'm sorry, I can't hear you, Harmeet, because Ekdeep is, or Yash is going, ooh, there's a scary ghost in the back of the room, ooh. <laughs> Harmeet, was it the blue or the green? I know you're guessing. You're guessing poorly. The green, why is it the green one? Because it's minus. So, can I forget about the blue guy? No, I can't forget about him because he's still a factor. So he's x to the 8th plus 1. But what happens with green guy? If it happens once in math, it happens again. You split him to get what? Am I done? Why? Where? Can I go with? Blue or green? Green. 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 green, why? Because it's an even number and it's subtraction. Can I forget about the first two? No. X to the eighth plus one. X to the fourth plus one. What's this guy become? I like to do the plus one first. But it doesn't matter. Am I done? No, no. why? Because I can go further with which one? Green. I didn't highlight them. <laughs> the last one. X to the eighth plus one. X to the fourth plus one. X to the eighth, sorry, plus one. No, that was right. X to the fourth. X squared plus one. Now what? X plus one and X minus one. Am I done? Yes. Why did I give you one like that at the very beginning instead of starting easy? Because we'd already done the easy ones. Ecti. Four. Eight, four, two, one. Cut it in half every time. What? Why can't we use the additional though? Okay. Somebody always asks that, David. I'm glad x squared plus 1, right? Okay, so that is really x squared plus 0x plus 1, yes? So to factor that, I would need factors that multiply to 1 and add to what? One. No. Oh, zero. zero. Okay, what are they? Uh, okay. So why can't you do it with addition? Because you can't get the zero to drop out without a plus and a minus. Okay? All right. So, since we'd already done the easy ones in the last lesson, and we started with the hard one, we're getting straight into the hard ones. Let's have a look at that. Is that, is that term a perfect square? Why? Even exponents. So what is the square root of that yellow term? X, Y. Is that blue term a square, perfect square? What is the square root? Fitting. So it's X, Y plus fitting. And then what? X, Y minus fitting. Am I done? Yes, Y. Odd exponents and 15 is not a square root. Or a perfect square. 15 is a square root. It's not a perfect square. It's every number is a square root. Everybody okay with 1 and 2? Okay. Let's look at 3. Okay. <coughs> 
Perfect square? How do you know? Even number. So what's the square root? Z to the fourth. Perfect square? What is it? Plus 12. Z squared minus 12. Am I done? Yeah. Okay, four is even. Excellent. Simran? Oh, it should be. Sorry. So, Amrit says keep going because said to the fourth is even. Right. Except, don't. Isn't there two conditions to going forward? Is that a perfect square? No. So, am I done? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Okay, number four. Ooh, very scary. That's not an Indian accent. That's the ghost voice. All ghosts sound like that. All ghosts sound like that. You guys hear that that way. That's your hang up, not mine. Every ghost sounds like that from Scooby Doo. I can do other bad accents, but it's just a ghost sound. Every ghost sounds that way. No. Can you do like Rajesh, the telephone sky? No. What I can do is math. Is that okay? No. Yes, no. Is that a perfect square? Yes. <laughs> okay, what's the square root? 2x cubed. Excellent. Is that a square root? What's the square? Plus 5y. Then what? Same thing, except? Excellent. Now, you guys are smart kids. When I leave that much blank space, why is it there? All right. So, right about here, everybody is like, I got this, Myers. Easy. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Easy breezy, beautiful. Math. Math. So, here we go. Let's see if you're really ready to go on with this. Three X cubed minus twenty seven X squared. It's not impossible, Fawaz. Why would I give you something that was impossible? Am I some kind of meanie? Talk to your neighbors. I'll give you a big hint. I wrote something in really big letters a couple of lessons ago. GCF. No, everything is GCF. GCF. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. Everything, everything. You guys all were sitting there. You all like, yeah, I got it. Me. Me. Got it. I'm gonna have to the video. Do it. The video. The <laughs> Got a drinking problem. It's a dribble bottle. Hey, right. who's gonna help me out here? I know. You know what I like to do in my house, Ekdeep, when other people volunteer other people? Like when I say, 
Who's going to set the table? And my son says, Beth. Well, guess who's setting the table? My son. So, Ekti, you volunteered Imran? Here you go. Exactly my point. Sure. In my class, this thing would be wireless, and I would walk back to you and let you use the magic pen. But it's not wireless here. Can I, can I come try so you can either come on, come on down, Brooklyn Murphy, come on down. You're the next contestant on Math is Awesome. Shut it. Math doesn't like you either. He said that. I didn't say anything. Oh, it's weird. I know it's weird. Everybody thinks it's so easy, and everybody laughs and wonders oh, why I, I make like accidents. It. I know. I don't like this. Okay. Okay. Am I right so far? I'm wrong. It's not three. All right. <laughs> you, you can sure? just turn the pen over. Oh, really? I know. It's wicked cool. Really? Oh, weird. Okay. Well, now you got to wait because it's frozen. You're saving the world. Not erasing. No. It'll work. Okay. Um, <laughs> so divide the three. Mm -hmm. Divide by three. Uh huh. Divide by three. Okay. Um. So we'll get x cubed. Okay. Minus. Okay, I'm going to let Brooklyn keep working, but I'm going to say this out loud. This is so difficult to Brooklyn use. is on the right track, but she's kind of walking beside the track. She's not actually on it. She can see the track, and she knows where it's going, but she's not actually on it. Can there be a second contestant? It hurts how close you are to being right. You're killing me. There is no shame in relaxing. I don't know what's going on here. I'm counting. It's nine. Goes into twenty. Yes, it is. <laughs> oh, you're all over this thing. Okay, I'm, you know what? All right. Oh, wait, I just Brooklyn has given up, but she is so close. Can I try? Sure. Okay. Is it okay if you just simplify it? Now. Okay. Haley, what should she have done first? She should have GCF'd. What is the GCF here? 3x squared. So where does that go? Out front. And what does that leave here? X squared minus... Nine. 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 Now what? Oh, yeah. I had it as four, didn't I? Uh, it needed to be four. Oh, wait, what? You had three. Now what? No, it's fine. Now what? She's not done. Why? 3x squared. Now you're done. Mr. Myers, you had it as Yeah, no, I know, I know, but it's okay. It is, David. It is. Next. Okay. Listen up. Okay, this is what I'm just going to do. 
Is that a five or a three? No, you weren't. You were in the Yeah. No. Yeah. Why do you always read the movie? I just changed it so there's no arguing of whether it's a five or a three. Yep. So this is already in fact like simplified already, right? And then we just want to find the answer. That is factorable. That's factorable again. Yes. Of course it is. And I would explain it, but I'm tired of talking over everyone. So I'm just gonna start writing. They can be on their phones. I don't care. Go ahead. I know what's going to happen to other grades. You guys don't think I look out at you and know exactly who's getting what score on every test? Within three marks, I am right on every single test just by looking at how you handle yourselves in this class when I'm speaking. Every so often I get surprised, but very, very rarely. And if I were to show you the list, and I were to write a list on the board of everybody who was not actually just working right there, who was on their phone or talking like all you are, and then I would put beside there the grades and the people that were actually working right now when I wrote that on the board, you would notice that the people that were actually working when I wrote that right there all have the highest grades in the class. And since they're your grades, and since I already passed Math 10, I don't care if you use your phone or not, because it's only you that is losing a month of your summer. I'm getting paid to be here. I obviously care about you guys, or I wouldn't be here. I wouldn't be trying to get you to do this. I would just be writing and not caring. So obviously I care, but if you don't, no skin off my back. I don't care. I already passed with the grade I wanted. I didn't actually, I had a C minus in grade 10. <laughs> yeah. Grade 12, I had a much better grade because my girlfriend's dad's best friend was my math teacher. My girlfriend's dad was the counselor at our high school. His best friend was my math 12 teacher. So I had to do well. Yes. We didn't have a choice. It was math 12 or nothing. Did you always want to be a teacher? Always wanted to be a teacher. I to be a teacher. That's what every teacher says. I feel like half of them are lying. Nope. Since the ninth grade, all I wanted to be was a teacher. In the ninth grade, we took a computer test on what our jobs should be. My first job, first choice of job based on my interest was air traffic controller. My second job based on my interest was horticulturalist. Oh. Growing plants. How do you remember the list? And my third job, according to that program that we did in guidance, which was our version of planning, was teacher. I took that test in the last block of one day. The next day in our second block, I was in social studies, and some girl who was sitting beside me said, hey, did you do that choices thing? Yeah, I did that choices thing. What did you get? I got air traffic controller, horticulturalist, and teacher. I don't know. And the teacher heard me saying that and said, Matthew, I think you would be a very good teacher. That teacher went on to become the man in charge of all education at UBC. He was my grade nine socials teacher. And he, who became probably, arguably, one of the most important and powerful men in education in all of Canada in 1989, said, you would be a good teacher. So I said, why the hell not? And here I am. So, as I was saying, that is factorable. Why? Well, you look at that and you see that's a perfect square and you see there's a subtraction. So it almost fits, doesn't it? So the problem becomes this. Yes? Why is that a problem? What, what is mathematically, what is that? No. What is that two mathematically? It's no, it's not times two. It is an exponent, yes? Which means what is this? No. 
What do you call the thing that is immediately to the left of an exponent? No. No. Base. Excellent. Okay. So, if I gave you this problem, a squared minus 16, could you factor it? A minus 4. A plus 4. What's A? That's a base. What's that? That's a base. What was the square root of A squared? A. So what's the square root of X minus 7? X minus 7. So isn't this X minus 7 plus 4? And X minus 7 minus 4? And isn't negative 7 plus 4 something we can do? What is it? X minus 3. And isn't negative 7 minus 4 something we can do? X minus 7 minus 4, Gerlina. That's two negatives. I'm already down at negative 7, and then I'm going more negative. Negative. Yes, negative 11. That's the next one that tricks people. Even though you all understand that, everybody seems to have trouble with that one. Why? It's just the square root of the base. It's the same thing. I know, I'll do another one. We did simplify it. Isn't that simpler than that? Because this is x minus 7 times x minus 7 minus 16. That's a big ugly mess. That is nice and tidy. So let's do one more of those just to make sure. 2x plus 4 squared minus x minus 3 squared. What? <laughs> Look at it closely and think for a second. What? Isn't that just a base? So can I rewrite this as a squared? And isn't that just a base? So can I rewrite that as b squared because it's different? Now if I gave you this, we know what the answer would be. It's a plus b and a minus b, isn't it? Yeah. Well, didn't we say a was 2x plus 4? Yeah. So what's that a? 2x plus 4. And didn't we say b was x minus 3? Yeah. So plus b. So it's plus what? x minus 3. What's 2x plus 1x? 3x. 3x squared. 3 x squared. 3 3x. 3x. What is 4 minus 3? 1. That covers A plus B, doesn't it? Okay. Well, what's A minus B? What's A? 2X plus 4 minus, what's B? X minus 3. What's 2X minus X? 1X. What's 4 Minus, minus 3. Seven, seven. 7. And now I'm done. That is about the second hardest thing I can do with factoring in the 10th grade. I know. Now, stop for a second and look at what we did in this hardest one. Find out where you are confused. There and there, there and there. Are you confused there? Why? What have I done? I have taken this ugly binomial and called it one single thing. Is that okay? A equals 2x plus 4. So everywhere I see 2x plus 4, I can put an A. B equals x minus 3. So everywhere I see x minus 3, I can put a B. A squared minus B squared. Now, how do I factor that? 
Well, it's squared minus squared. So I know it's the square root of the first one, which is A, plus the square root of the second one, which is B. And then I do the same thing, A and B with the minus. Now, notice here, I have the answer, right? But in the original question, was there ever an A and a B? No, I made those A and B. So now this A has to become 2x plus 4 again. This B has to become x minus 3. And then according to this, I add them together. 2x plus 1x is how many x's? 3 x's. 4 plus negative 3 is 1. Now I go over to here, a minus b, 2x minus x is 1x, 4 minus minus 3 is 7. And that is my final answer. Again, second hardest thing I could ever do to you with factor. You haven't even seen it yet. You'll get to it Monday. Yep. Yes. <laughs> okay. Everybody good? All right. I want you to have done by Monday. Paige, listen up. Page 131. One thirty one. One thirty two. One thirty four. And I don't think you guys will be able to do most of 135 and 136, but I'm going to assign them anyway. What? Thank you. I'm going to say that those are going to be for marks, but, but I won't mark them until after first block Monday, which means you'll see all the right answers to this and be able to ask questions before I assign, before I mark this. Okay? So this should be no prob. This requires some thought.